All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Honest Defense podcast today. You know, he used to argue, well, we should be able to say in the privacy of this club what we're allowed to do in the privacy of our bedroom. I strongly believe in free speech. I strongly defend free speech. I strongly protect free speech. But <laughs> this should not be free speech because this is harm. This is danger. This I do think that we were naive when we imagined that, um, you know, eliminating the so-called censors would automatically produce you know, truth and knowledge and, and happiness. The fact is, they're planning for these wars. They're not planning for the effects of the wars. They're not planning for all the shit that happens on the back end. You know, they're not planning for the treatment of mental health. They're not planning for, you know, a double arm amputee that's above the elbows. They're not planning for TBIs. They're not planning in the long term for taking care of these people. They're just hoping they're going to come up with medical advancements on the fly or maybe they'll die before it matters. Boy, if you have governors unilaterally making laws that, that, that are going to put people in jail or affect their livelihood or take away their businesses without benefit of legislation that was actually passed by a legislature because they're doing so pursuant to some emergency powers they may or may not have, that's a big problem for liberty. That's a big problem. So he spoiled me. He said yes to everything I asked for. Uh, which, you know, was great when it was happening in the moment for me. Uh, looking back on it now, yeah, not so good for personal work ethic. Not so personal, uh, not so good for learning how to persevere or how to, to move through uh, when it gets tough or difficult, it you know. It costs an absolute fortune in lawyers to fight this. And it's very difficult to continue to fight it when you're running out of money, essentially. You have to make a decision about what's best for your family, what's best for, you know, kind of moving forward. But I did fight it for many months. And then I realized that, you know, I just didn't have the heart in me to keep fighting. I, I just, I didn't want to fight anymore. When you're the host of a TV show, they just want you to be the fucking host, dude. Like, just, just be the host. Stay in your trailer. When we fucking knock on the trailer door, come out, do your little monkey dance, and then get back in the fucking box. Like, that, right. that's what they want. But they also would burn the books. They would melt down the printing plates so that even if uh, someone um, got out of jail at some later point, he wouldn't be able to reprint the books. And anyone who's listening, if Eric asks you to be on his show, just you know, say yes. You never know what, what will happen. <laughs> after that. I, I make stars, baby. I make stars.